The MQ-9 Reaper is the primary offensive strike and manned aerial vehicle for the U.S. Air Force. Given its significant loiter time, wide-range sensors, multi-mode communications suite, and precision weapons, it provides a unique capability to perform strike coordination and reconnaissance against high-value, fleeting, and time-sensitive targets. Reapers can also perform the following missions and tasks, intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, close air support, combat search and rescue, precision strike, buddy laser, convoy raid overwatch, route clearance, target development, and terminal air guidance. The Reaper is part of a remotely piloted aircraft system. A fully operational system consists of several sensor, weapon-equipped aircraft, a ground control station, Predator primary satellite link, and spare equipment along with operations and maintenance crews for deployed 24-hour missions. The basic crew consists of a rated pilot to control the aircraft and command the mission, and enlisted air crew members to operate sensors and weapons as well as a mission coordinator when required to meet combatant commander's requirements. The Reaper delivers tailored capabilities using mission kits containing various weapons and sensor payload combinations. The MQ-9 baseline system carries the multispectral targeting system, which is a robust suite of visual sensors for targeting. The MTSB integrates an infrared sensor. Color a monochrome daylight TV camera, image intensified TV camera, laser designator, and laser illuminator. The full motion video from each of the imaging sensors can be viewed as separate video streams or fused. The unit also incorporates a laser range finder, designator, which precisely designates targets for the employment of laser guided munitions, such as the guided bomb unit 12 Paveway 2. The Reaper is also equipped with a synthetic aperture radar to enable future GBU-38 joint direct attack munitions targeting. The MQ-9 can also employ for laser-guided missiles air-to-ground missile 114 Hellfire, which possess highly accurate, local lateral damage, anti-armor, and anti-personnel engagement capabilities. The remotely piloted aircraft can be disassembled and loaded into a single container for deployment worldwide. The entire system can be transported in the C-130 Hercules or larger aircraft. The MQ-9 aircraft operates from standard U.S. airfields with a clear line of sight to the ground. Data terminal antenna which provides line of sight communications for takeoff and landing. The PPSL provides over the horizon communications for the aircraft and sensors. The primary concept of operations, remote split operations, employs a launch and recovery ground control station for takeoff and landing operations at the forward operating location. While the crew based in the continental United States executes command and control of the remainder of the mission via beyond line of sight links, remote split operations result in a smaller number of personnel deployed to a forward location consolidate control of the different flights in one location and as such, simplify command and control functions as well as the logistical supply challenges for the weapons. System. The U.S. Air Force proposed the MQ-9 Reaper system in response to the Department of Defense Directive to support initiatives of overseas contingency operations. It is larger and more powerful than the MQ-1 Predator and is designed to execute time-sensitive targets with persistence and precision and destroy or disable those targets. The M is the DOD designation for multi-role and Q means remotely piloted aircraft system. The 9 indicates it is the ninth in the series of remotely piloted aircraft systems. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more military technology updates.